Welcome to the indices and here we're looking at the S&P 500 on a two hour chart and it does appear that we have an impulse wave to the upside and um, as I may have mentioned that we would have been uh, long above the 1872 or at least had a positive market above that particular uh, point there. This particular uh, structure here still seems to be unfolding. Um, the wave three is uh, hasn't come into play yet. Once it does, we'll see wave four um, uh, pull back into here, and then wave five up to the 1900. Uh, as it stands at the moment, this high here, this would be the 61.8 retracement level here. This there's a gap in the market here, and same with the Dow Jones as well. Um, so we need to be mindful of that um, once we've completed a five wave structure to the upside. And as I just mentioned, it's still got uh, further to travel to the upside here. I've just got it counted like this in terms of up for one and back for two here. And then the one, the two, the three, the four, five to here for wave one and two here. Uh, then the one, two, three, cross for four and up for five here for wave three. And that may be wrong here. And we just sort of... I can come back to that anyway, wave three to here or to here, um, but wave four here and then wave uh, five up for three here. So up to the 188 here. So basically um, you know, for the intraday players, there's, um, you know, this, the, there's, there's corrective activity uh, approaching uh, here before uh, seeing further upside here as well. Um, right, same with the uh, Dow Jones as well. Um, well, the Dow here is, is good because we were looking, if I just come back here at a chart here yesterday, we were looking for it to pop its head up above the uh, 16,500, which is the medium level. Now, what that does, it takes out this high here, which gives this a positive uh, movement here with further potential to move up through here to take out this high here. Um, but this high here hasn't been uh, taken out. But um, look, double tops are never the end of the bull campaign, as uh, WD Gann would say. So um, all good. Now, that said, this is the uh, medium level here. So, you know, it, th this market could, you know, uh, well, it'll have smaller, have small swings here and then sort of maybe even some larger and before it moves up. But it, it can come back and have more time here as well. So, you know, it's going to struggle to to leave here. And also the S&P 500 at 1900 as well is, you know, it's going to have some problems there as well. Um the uh, European markets, just starting with the DAX here, because the DAX has been a bit of a leader to the upside. And um, just on the weekly chart here, just looking at this as minor wave four here, this three wave swing here, and looking for this high to be taken out through here. Um, our Australian markets are a bit the same as well, um, slightly different same but different um so anyway this has moved up quite a lot here now it will be facing resistance uh here on the daily through here so the s p 500 at 1900 the dj sort of struggling with um 16,500. this market here coming into um i always like the 65 numbers so uh 9650 would be a number that would be looking at uh closely uh in here um but this is really uh not finished at the 95 yet so we'll see uh, this market test um, the supply highs here and probably force it back into the 95 area through here. But the count here is still to the upside here in terms of there's probably different ways to count this of having wave one to here and wave two to here. Not that it matters that much just yet. Um, well, I can see that this has still got further to, to move up through to here and that's why there's 9650 or something that we're sort of looking at. And um, if you're trading this then, the, the top of group one, the 96, well, 96 is important, but 9630 is a support, will get you to 9650 in that stage there. Um, that market is over over um, overbought as well, um, but the momentum is still to the upside. The FTSE is a little bit different. This is the daily chart here, and we've had this you know this whole sort of correction across the medium level here, sixty five, which is which is really the same as um, sixteen thousand five hundred as well. It's just the sixty five number uh, medium level, 
and you know this is all overlapping wave structures here so it, it really has to be labeled corrective the move up through here uh, is becoming overbought very rapidly so uh, it's in a weaker uh, situation here the 50 60 percent retracement levels up around the 6700 here so um yeah just into here uh We'll, we'll see this this count here is a little bit difficult to count as well because it does count as corrective uh, in at this point th this this structure here counts corrective from this little point I mean this counted five waves beautifully to, to this point here and um, we we're counting five waves in here which is all good and you know that could have been a top there as well but um, I can see that we're going to be taking this high out through here so there is another count going on through here I've just left the old count here because we had one two three four and five to here um, but this is obviously going to take this high out here because not because it's moving up that way it's because this one here has got three waves in it here so that will be taken out and this is an important number here to 6650 another little 65 number so that will come into play through here but as I mentioned the 50 60 percent retracement level is up here somewhere and that will sort of line up with the DAX meeting its uh, resistance and the S&P uh, the 1900 and so forth so there's you know there's going to be sort of resistance uh, there and the time that that gets up if you get support on 6650 then you'd be looking at um, group two here which would be 66 65 and 72 so um, the idea here yesterday was to trade long from the 6630 up to the 6650 exit wait for support and then trading long to the 665 take part profit there and the rest of it at 6672 um, because the market will be um, overbought at that stage however that said the momentum for this market is still uh, moving to the upside like the other indices as well and that brings the ASX into the fold here as well, ASX CFD. Now, once again here, um, yesterday, well, let's just look at the bullish weekly cycle that we're, that we're in. And every day it's just been pretty much spot on. Tuesday, yesterday was, we see profit taking in the morning session and then the trend resuming. It normally re resumes um, uh, pretty much in the morning session. Uh, very rarely uh, would, would it would it uh, resume in the afternoon session. I just sort of point that out uh, for perhaps another time. Um, but uh, it's on track. Wednesday normally creates the midweek high, uh, and Thursday once again the 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 bearish day. Now we will make new highs here simply because we've got a three wave price action from here uh, so we can be looking higher that said I don't have a very clear count on on all of this here okay I can see that the momentum is bullish I can see that this will be oversold for, uh, overbought very shortly um, at the end of the day and um, this all of this here counts better as a corrective wave in terms of an A, B and C here for the A wave. Well, that's the main point. This appears to be corrective. So that makes all of this corrective. And, you know, this count, I don't know, it's maybe the third, the one, two, three, wave four to here and then the wave five to here completing here as a corrective move here. Um, but anyway, I just want to see what happens day by day here before I make any calls because I was never really clear about this whole move down through here from the from the highs as well through here. It never counted really well. It did count at the end of the day. It did count better as a corrective wave, <clears throat> but um, as a double zigzag, basically an A, B, C <clears throat> and an A, B, C and then an A and a B and a C, but I don't know, um, just not, and this is sort of looking corrective as well here, but anyway, I just want to see how it pans out. Um, <clears throat> we pretty much know, you know, what's going on today and, uh, uh, and, and also tomorrow as well, which will be the bearish day. Uh, Wednesday can also be a V-shaped day, so uh, down in the morning and, and up in the uh, afternoon, <clears throat> A bit more severe than uh, the Tuesday. Tuesday's one's more subtle with light profit taking, and uh, Wednesday can see more, uh, more deeper profit taking, which <clears throat> brings it into uh, <clears throat> Thursday being a bear day. There is non farm payroll, um, or oh, sorry, the ADP figures 
uh, private employment figures tonight in the US for the Wednesday, and then that would be the lead-in for the non-farm payroll figures on uh, Friday as well. So uh, we'll see what sort of edge comes from uh, comes from that. Alrighty, cheers, thanks.